Leave aside how much you know. Leave aside what books you have read, how you can show off to people, how much knowledge you have. As believers, you should be interested to ask yourself, what kind of questions do you think they're going to ask me? Try to find the answer. Don't think it's going to be so simple. Who is your Lord? Who is your prophet? Which uh, Umat you belong to? What is your book? All those questions people are in reality answering how they are living in this world right now. So many claiming, claiming Allah is our Lord. But in fact, money is their Lord. So many claiming we belong to the Ummat of Ibrahim salam, of the Prophet salam, but you see them having complete lifestyle of the Jews and the Christians, or worse today, atheists. But claiming the best of Muslims. Which book are you following? Book? <laughs> Today no one even reads a book. What is a book? They read a screen. What is a book that you're following? And as Shah Afandi had said to us so many times, the tariqat is to make you to read what you have written in your own book because that is the book that you have to read from on the day of judgment. Let it be that the book is given to us on our right hand, not on the left or from behind. As Shafini had said, from behind you have to make your hands to go through your stomach to pull that book out. So all those questions, these are the questions that we know. What about the questions that we don't know? As the Prophet is saying, how you live is how you will die. How you die is how you're going to be raised. And the biggest enemy to mankind, it is his nafs. Shaitan is an open enemy. Your nafs is the hidden enemy. Which one is more dangerous? The one that is open or the one that is hidden? This is one thing that Muslims in 21st century, they don't want to learn. They don't want to learn about themselves. They want to learn about scholars. They want to learn about books. They want to learn about philosophers, but they don't want to study themselves. They don't want to put themselves under a microscope. This is what is happening on Day of Judgment. They're going to put us under a microscope. You did that. Why did you do that? Where did you do it? What is the reason that you're doing that? You know that that is wrong. What are you doing with it? Especially men. Not so much for women. Men. Responsibility is given to us. So if you are not self-aware, if you are not aware of yourself in all these things, how can you become aware of Allah? Then where is your taqwa? No taqwa. Everything is to give us to become more aware of Allah. But if you are not aware of yourself, you are not even knowing when you are stubborn, when you are angry, denying it. Don't think it is that easy also. We are following Shah Afandi this year. Still we are seeing People are still not aware, and if they are aware, they don't know how to change. Inshallah, like this or like that, we're going to enter into the holy months. But don't become like, your Lord is not a business partner. To say, I go to business with you, I'm going to get this much sawab. That one, even an unbeliever believes that kind of a thing. That is not religion, that is superstition. I do something good, you give me something good. I do something bad, then you're going to punish me. Isn't that what Santa Claus is? I've been a good boy, so give me a present. It's good 
We have to follow the Shariat. Of course, Allah is saying, you do this, this is the reward. You do this, this is the punishment. You do that, Allah is saying, you will become beloved to me. That's all right. But if you want to come close to Allah, Allah is saying, now, your heart starts moving. Your heart starts moving. And you will know before someone tells you whether that is the right thing to do or wrong thing to do. No one has to tell you. So we're coming into the three holy months. What is it that we want? We should not try to want so many things. We should try to get rid of so many things. Get rid of it. To say, I wish. Even if the wish list is very long and you know you cannot get rid of it, wish that, have that intention. You're going to reward it according to your intention. Say, I cannot get rid of this thing. Years I'm having it. This, this, this. Say, Ya Rabbi, this is my intention. I cannot do anything. But you can do anything. You have the power. Which is why for the past few months I've been thinking about this. How nice it is to have death. Because with the death, all these wrong things, all this evil, all these egoistic things that inside of us, everything will end, it'll finish. You're not going to bring it to your grave. It'll finish. The ego will be defe defeated. At least that time, whether we're doing it or we're not doing it, is not going to have the power anymore. That is the good news. Inshallah, be around people that is going to wake you up a little bit. But don't be around them and start going to sleep too. It doesn't work that way. As I said, you must be questioning yourself. The man who's busy with questions, they're going to come here and they're going to look for those answers.